Hello. Welcome to my channel. I hope y'all having a good 4th of July today. And I put two decks together and we're going to see what pulls out. So let's see what pulls out today for us. For all of my people, the collective. What is the energy? Here we go. Ooh, adjacent possibilities. So you got two doors, it says. And you're going to have to pick which one. Uh, maybe Spirit's giving you a lot of possibilities at the moment. And you're needing to pick what goes with you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got to create a block. If you are an artist of any kind, you can offer all work to the divine, making it God's alone. I offer this for the highest good to benefit the planet. Release me from any blocks and restrictions. May this serve all who need. So you got a road to choose, and one of them is going to block your creativeness. So I wouldn't go that one. <laughs> Choice is yours, it said. Oh, these people that's got creative blocks, they're envied and jealous of you. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. I need the help. I appreciate you all. But you're always going to have people envious and jealous of you. That's, that's everywhere, and we know this. We're trying to teach people not to live that way. We're trying to tell y'all to change how you do things. And don't scare yourself with the next 40 step. All you need is that one next action you can say to love. Just show me the first step and change me into one who can take it. Now, it's telling you right there, change from being envious and jealous of people, whoever it's reading for out there. Because, I mean, you're the person who's got to do it, you know. And This is fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. This is about your heart chakra. You know, you're needing to change. Um, maybe you need to take action towards this person that your heart is lit up for, it's saying. And you're going to be the strong one to do that. Maybe that somebody was affecting your fourth chakra. Maybe your childhood issues is why your creative is blocked. And you're needing to change that way and quit being in jealous energy. Whoever this is for, because... That's the door to spirit, see? Spirit tells you. I told you. That's the door to spirit. I choose to go through that door. And what else about adjacent possibilities, spirit? Thank you. Oh, it's, it's leading you to a direction. And it says, Lord, please show me the right action now. Please bring me a sign and a miracle that gives clear direction. May I hear the promptings of my own body and it... And if for some reason I'm about to head the wrong way, please stop me. Oh, yeah, Spirit's done that for me a bunch. So you got you got a way to go, and it's telling you, Spirit's leading you in the right direction if you'll pay attention, okay? Three, three, three. Ooh, we know how to manifest over here. Yeah, we do. And what about creative blocks? Creative blocks? Oh, it's maybe this person that is experienced of creative blocks is getting ready to travel somewhere and you it's well it's telling you to move away from any blocks and restrictions in your life and go serve it serve who you want to serve you know and let every aspect of this trip unfold in harmony may divine order arrange and handle every detail i'll be guided easily and follow the leads as they are shown so it's just telling you to pay attention, you know, because spirit will help you, and these people that's envy and jealous, they're envy and jealous because the abundance, divine beloved, please show me how to feel fully deserving to receive. I release my ego's plan and open to being a vehicle for abundance. You gotta release, you gotta release this jealous energy, because if you don't release it, you're not gonna get no blessings from the divine, and don't you all know that? 444, four, four. don't you all know that? It could be somebody in your family that's very uh, uh, envious and jealous of your abundance at the moment. 
and maybe they're wanting to come in your direction now. They're traveling towards you because they see you as going to have some abundance. Well, spirit is going to show you. You can't just be around somebody because they're you see them as wealthy or having wealth. I mean, you got to love somebody without being in that energy. I hate to tell y'all. What about change? Striving. Eventually, the individual's egos drive to make things happen falls away, replaced with a relaxed, trusting openness to answers as they arise. Thank you, Divine, for letting me move with the flow. So that's what y'all, you're striving for change. It's saying it, and Spirit's telling you how to do it. So, you know, the ego wants things to happen right then and now. It's do it now or never, you know, that's just the ego, and you got to stop letting your ego five five five. You got to change how your ego is. You got to stop letting the ego drive you. You got to you got to be mellow and calm, and you got to get your shoppers in line. And you need to eat better, and you need to be aware of how you show up in the world to others. And you'll learn. And what about heart shocker? Oh, it says whoever your heart. Oh, it's the community you're just striving for a change in the community that's what it's saying you know people are noticing you may be in the community now and they see that your heart chakra is open to spirit thank you spirit i love you what else about door to spirit please flip it out for us thank you it said solitude the doorway to spirit is you want you embrace the inner divine and your own sacred solitude. The right people arrive at the right time exactly on schedule without forcing or chasing. See, we know that. So, this is where you'll find spirit in your solitude. Now, pay attention. And what about these adjacent possibilities to these different doorways and the direction is... To pray on it and they will, you will be guided. The world. Oh, this is something you, it's cycle complete. You've already went through this having another direction. You know, you done completed out this cycle. Maybe you was in limbo thinking you had another way, but Spirit said you are whoever this reason's for. You done completed this. You know the direction. Okay. And what about creative blocks and you might have to travel? And what about creative walks? And you might have to travel. Oh, thank you, Spirit. Oh, yin and yang, zen and zang, 22, twin flame, woo. You know, uh, maybe your, uh, your twin has not got any creative side at the moment. And maybe, uh, maybe your uh twin don't know if they should come towards you they're waiting on divine order that's what does it divine order will, will lead you the way they're shown yin and yang and what about envy and jealousy people's jealous that you're you're married or live with your twin or you have a twin flame and a spirit partner they're jealous of it oh and these people that's jealous of your abundance with your twin uh, you're going to have to have the courage. Divine courage is not the absence of fear, but a nudge that says, keep going, do it. Don't worry, I will be well. You have to get quiet enough to hear it. Dear Divine, may I feel your courage and your will. you got to get quiet and have the courage to go after your dreams, people. Don't you understand it? You need to change living in the ego, and you need to strive to be a better person and... Fifth Shocker, Archangel Gabriel. Uh, these people are scared to talk. Throat Shocker. I see blue throat Shocker. These, these people are scared to voice their opinion or they've been attacking your throat Shocker or your twins. And you got the courage to speak about it. And what about healing your heart, healing the community's heart at the moment? Oh, and you're a happy family. Looky there. Rainbow, the rainbow warrior tribe. Looky there. Happy family, happy life, happy love. And 
people see that in your community and they see that your happy family has brought this door to spirit during your time of solitude. Thank you, spirit, for them finally seeing and knowing. Oh, and this solitude, they thought you was all tied up. They thought you didn't know what you was going to do. Ten, ten, child blessings come to us. And we wasn't all tied up. We was just trying to build our business, see? Yeah, but somebody out here is all tied up into some shit that they do wish they hadn't got in, maybe. Or maybe you're just all tied. They think that you're just love staying in solitude. Maybe that's what it's saying, okay? People that's watching me. Anybody that's watching me, that's what it is, all right? Okay, can we have a message spirit? Okay, this one. It says, what am I waiting for? Someone else to do it for me? <laughs> you know, this is what your soul action should be today. No more thinking, only doing. Be brave and you will discover what you're really made of. A uh, wild soul, strong heart can't lose, you know. It says, if are you waiting on somebody else before you can take a big leap? What if you were to take life into your hands and forge your own unique path? Put your heart into action and ask yourself, what risk can you take to move towards your dreams? Make a decision and do it. No more waiting for others. Do it. Do it scared. Take the leap. Everybody's scared. So people that's looking at me and you're all jealous, everybody's scared to go after their dreams, but you just gotta do it, okay? I'm trying to help teach y'all how to do it. Look, I'm trying to give you some good questions that y'all might have been ants, uh, asking. It says, to whom am I comparing myself right now? See, these people is jealous of your relationship. They was comparing their relationship to yours and you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to work on y'all's relationships. And what are you able to see in another is only visible because it is within you, ready to be brought out and shine light on this feeling of not enough and see the truth. All that you need and want is within yourself. Today's soul action. Today, stop comparing and start creating. See, Spirit tells you. Spirit tells y'all you change and start creating and stop comparing. I don't like comparing to others. What else, Spirit? Be yourself. It says, how can I deepen my trust right now? Trust, surrender. Let go of the wheel. You can trust. You can trust yourself. Trust fully in yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others. Trust creates safety. And when we feel safe, we feel unstoppable. Today, soul action. Let go and trust. Today, find your center in the chaos and be certain with yourself so you can deepen your trust in others. So that's what you need to do today, okay? To your person, to yourself, you gotta communicate. That's what you gotta communicate your needs, you all. I can't do it for you now. All right. <laughs> so don't expect me to do that for you, you guys. It's cause I can't. That's on you all. And since twin come out here, I'm gonna give y'all a twin. Twins and separation message. Okay, cause not many people do these and. I love y'all, and I want to help you. If y'all notice, that many people does these. So go ahead and hit a little subscribe. 1333. We got a new beginning of giant blessings manifestations to us. Oh, Spirit said, what about Twin Flame wants to know today? What's Twin Flame wants to say, Twin Flames? Oh, it says, somebody out here needs to acknowledge the feminine twin. They're not paying attention to their woman twin. And you need to take responsibility for this uh, feminine of yours and because you're you're activating your higher self. That's what needs to be done. Acknowledge your divine feminine, you know. Get it activated. Acknowledge. Maybe you're seeing a lot of ones and sixes too at the moment because it looks like you are. But you got to acknowledge this person because if you don't, then how are you ever going to be with that person, you know. Think about it. Acknowledge the feminine inside of you if you're a masculine, too. That's what it means. And trust and surrender. Put it all in the divine and look. Surrender. See? Dark night of the soul. When you're going through the dark night of the soul, there's a lot of chaos and shit going on around you. And you got to learn to center yourself and deepen your trust with others. <laughs> and you got to cut a lot of people, places, and things off when you're going through that dark night of the soul. 
and you gotta learn to speak your truth see express yourself you started expressing yourself and you had the courage to talk about your yin yang and tell it to the people of the world you was very courageous and uh, the angels in your family is so proud of you, and they're proud that you're not all tied up in the crazy bullshit. Oh, wow. Thank you, spirit. Oh, wow. What else under acknowledge and take responsibility? Oh, take responsibility and trust. Ask that question to the divine and listen what divine tells you and allow it to come to you ever so freely, gently. Ooh, look at y'all. That looks like eyes. Look at I never seen it. See eyes. And look at the ears. Huh? It's crazy, ain't it? Trust that your third eye chakra was right. And that this is your twin. And you're getting ready to have a breakthrough. Proce processing karmic debris. You're getting ready to have a breakthrough with your with your feminine twin. Whoever's listening to me. Because they, they're having to... Uh, they're seeing their role they played in all this karma because they're processing karmic debris. They're seeing what their role was and they're understanding and they're not trying to show up like that anymore. So that's good. Maybe that's why you ain't heard from your feeling, okay? You can go ahead and hit a little like, subscribe, and share because I need to help. What about Dark Night of the Soul? During, after you come out of this Dark Night of the Soul, when you surrendered at 1626, you're going to be unified. You're, you're aligning with abundance. That's what it means. You're going to be seeing all nines and fives and fours and ones and sixes and eights out here too. Oh, wow. It says speak your truth, express yourself. Oh, you're very compassionate and people love just listening to you. And they know that that you're teaching them about this higher heart opening. Looky there. Your higher heart is opening for your twin feminine twin and take responsibility and trust and ask the divine and they'll tell you 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 allowed time to, for the divine to tell you about this false twin flame you could be seeing two two a lot and that means if you went through a really intense change that was a false twin 1717 so that was a false twin do you get it A real twin, you'll um, you'll change, but you won't go through an intense change. Are you okay? And feminine twin breakthrough. Maybe some out here realizing that their feminine wasn't their. No, no, never mind. Oh, looky here, five five masculine twin come out right below the six six one. Oh wow. They're releasing their lower self. Ooh, they're letting go of that old ego and shit. They're wanting to live in their higher self and be free, flowing, loving with you. They see. They they're understanding what their part is. Divine masculine and divine feminine is having a breakthrough, and they're seeing what their part was in all their karma. And now they're learning to release that shit and don't bring it back into the relationship. They surrender to divine. When you say, I surrender this, and I surrender me to be back in unif unified with my twin, that's when it happens, and that's when you'll get abundance. Now, both of y'all need to do this. Now, listen. Oh, wow. Well, looky here. You get in signs, and they're pointing you towards the one that you desire and love, and do. Ooh, it, you're just getting a lot of mystical messages. Maybe somebody sees you as mystical. Your messages are just amazing. They never seen someone doing the way you have. Because you know how to speak your truth. You express yourself because you're a very compassionate person. And Divine Masculine, King Divine Masculine says, I see you. I love you. Oh, wow. So you got your masculine twin is your king. And your false it says your false twin is going through an intense change at the moment and your masculine twin is releasing their lower self and receiving and he's following the signs he's paying attention to what you're saying because he sees his self as your div divine king masculine he's not gonna let nobody get to his feminine no he ain't now you better believe me i've seen 1933 only look that up you look up that number when I tell you. 
because there will be a message in it for you. Oh, trust and believe. And do y'all want a message of mine? Go ahead and hit a little like if you like my cards that I make. Hit a little like because you know you do. Oh, and they, it says a some man that's embarrassed of you and because he's scared about all his stupid shit that he's done to you, it's coming out. Oh, well, it's okay. Everybody's stupid shit comes out. We, you got to take responsibility. And this false twin uh, that you, Divine, showed you was your false twin, they do voodoo on you, Divine Feminine. I guess you're aware of it, too, and you might feel these pins, but we know how to stick them pins right back to you. I always send it right back, and we don't use voodoo. We do it with our mind. Because her mind is very powerful and we know how to do this. You can't ruin my reputation, you stupid ass. I'll ruin my own before I let somebody else. Oh, wow. What else do we need to know? Ooh. We need to know. Honor and love yourself because you are unique and different. And know that God loves each and every one of us. Oh, that's why they hate you. They hate you because your light shines. I love how spirit tells on them. And a feminine twin, you love yourself. Don't worry, because you're unique. And look, you're cosmically aligned with your life purpose, and it's a wonderful thing, honey. And they hate you for it, because they don't have that in their life. They hate you, but we don't really give a shit what they hate or like. We don't care what these people like or hate. What about surrender? Surrender? Oh, surrender. The dark night of the soul. Surrender people telling you what to do. <coughs> And the way to act, or you can't do this, or you can't do this, get off that string. Quit being a puppet on a string. This is a great puppet master, you see. Yeah, that's what you, during your dark night of soul, you said, no, I don't want to live like that anymore. I'm going to do what the hell I think is the correct way. And God loves you for it, because you're cosmically aligned with what your life purpose is speak your truth. And... You know, this is a truth. You have to cut your feelings off to people that have no feelings for you. I mean, it's harsh, but you have to tell it, you know. And you might have been somebody that had to endure sexual abuse, sexual harassment, mental abuse, physical abuse, trauma, incest, or drug abuse. You could have experienced a lot of things in your life. And <clears throat> But I know one thing. You might have thought you wouldn't ever get anywhere, but 2222 just passed. Don't you worry, because Spirit's giving you what you're worth, and these people can't take it. What about they do voodoo? Oh, uh, we don't cry over people who were meant to make us grow, and we will not accept them anymore either, so they're, 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 they was wanting you to cry over them. That was this fake false twin. See how it tells? And honor and love yourself. They hate you because you're sober now. That's all it is. They, You're unique and they hate you because you're sober. And you're cosmically aligned with your life purpose. It says, haven't y'all figured out yet that we're not the same people that we used to be? So if you want to talk to us, y'all better come with a different attitude and no old patterns are allowed. Ooh, that's how we got aligned with ourselves. We, we turn into that type of person. Ain't that good? Yeah, it is. It is. And what about Great Puppet Master? What these people spit what about Great Puppet Master? Crap. Hang on, you guys. This person uh, could be spying and linked to your emails, and the law is well aware of them doing it to you. Your Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, all emails, whatever email. This puppet master is linked to, they're watching them too, and they know that whose phone it is. And you express yourself. Who is this person that knows how to speak yourself? To people, spirit. Who is this person that knows how to speak their true feelings? Ooh, you're a person that has your third eye open. You have visions during your meditations, and you can focus and manifest your dreams. You're the person. You're the person that they're watching because they know you are different, and they never seen how somebody works so fast like you and can make anything come to life.
They did voodoo on us and we ain't crying over them. Don't, under, don't people understand that God will bring you to your twin? It's all in God's timing, divine timing. These people are sad. You ain't crying over them because you're with your you're with your twin or you're going towards your twin and they, they don't like you. And honor and love yourself because you're unique and different and you're beautiful and they hate you because you're sober. And now this man is, or woman, is blocking your readings from going around into the public. And you know who it is that's doing it to you. Oh, it's somebody that you blocked. They hate you because you're sober and you ain't crying over or, or talking to them or messaging or doing nothing and that's what they're pissed off about and you're cosmically aligned with your purpose because you're not the same person anymore and you're into this new being and you you're into this new being uh because you don't compare yourself remember earlier it was talking about don't compare yourself it said don't compare yourself to other people love yourself for who you are and choose to be a healed individual that is happy with yourself see you can even have goofy hair people will still say you're happy with yourself yeah that's why that's why we're happy we're just happy with ourselves because god made us that way oh well and a great puppet master this person's spying on your e through your emails and they're linked to all your accounts and the law knows oh well this person was doing my manipulation on you, and they got mad because you ain't paying them any attention anymore, whoever this person is. See? Spirit tells on them. And you're a person that has your third eye open, and sibling rivalry is going on in this situation. Oh, so your siblings could be pissed off at you because your third eye is popping, and, they, and you can manifest your dreams into reality. So I don't know who this reading's for, but it's for somebody. And you might have had to cut your feelings off to some people in your family. Yeah, because it says sometimes you just got to turn and walk away from anyone who isn't making you feel secure and happy. So maybe maybe somebody, at, maybe a sibling of yours might have did something bad to you when you was young. You know, abused you or something and was physically abusive and you like you was trauma bond them and you walked away and now you're happy and spirit said they love you and people didn't understand that god brings you to your twin and because divine order was called and so the divine's going to bring it into it's it's all about perfect timing and you and you honoring yourself and that and being sober and they don't like that and they don't lock, like that they're blocked. And, and the reason you blocked them is because they had low vibes. It says if you're, you are with people that is on low vibes, then you'll start vibing really low. No, I don't like low vibes. You're cosmically aligned with your life purpose. Haven't y'all figured it out yet that we don't compare ourselves to others? We love ourselves. Oh, wow. Hang on a minute. What about that one, Spirit? What about don't compare yourself to other people? It says protect yourself with prayers because people want to take what you have built over your life. Twenty eight eighteen, they're stealing, they're stealing from you. And protect yourself with prayers. And it could be this person that's spying on you, and um, they're like puppeteering your videos around, like how they're doing me on YouTube. I'm gonna put this out on my read, and we'll see if they block it or cut it in a chapter. Do chapter cuts when that happens in a read, and just take it off at automatic chapter, y'all, and it'll quit doing that shit in your readings. I'm trying to help y'all go in your settings. It shows you because some people's like it cut my reading off. That's how it's doing it. All right, but this person does my manipulation on you, and they get mad because. You ain't paying no attention to them. What's that person want to say? This person that you ain't paying no attention to. This person that you weren't better. Oh, it could be a cancer. It could be somebody. They're mad because you ain't paying attention. It could be somebody in your family because... Cancer is about roots, family, childhood, lineage. You're someone from your childhood. Somebody you've known a long time. That's who you're puppet puppeting. That's how you was puppeteered around. And and uh, you got your third eye open. And you know it's sibling rivalry. Because you're a person that loves without limits. You've always had good energy by doing this. 
they don't like that you do like that. And sometimes you got to cut people, cut your feelings off to people that have no feelings for you. Sometimes you just got to turn and walk away from anyone who isn't making you feel secure and happy. And maybe it could be some woman that feels trapped in a loveless relationship. And maybe you need to uh, learn how to feel secure with yourself, woman, whoever you are, whoever this reading is resonating with. Hang on and let me get... Let me get another message or two. Woman, you is, they cast a confusion and illusion spells on you, brain fog. You is going through brain fog transformation because you had to clear up all this karmic debris and figure out that it could have been uh, witches and warlocks and they're stopping you from moving to your life purpose, to your twin. That was the ones that was doing it. They, they wanted you to stay in brain fog and with these witches and warlocks, but they, divine orders called. They can't do it. It could have been a dirty... Dirty copper, dirty judge involved trying to fraud you. But honor and love yourself because you're unique. They hate that you're sober and they're and you block these low vibing people and and they can't stop thinking of you. They love only you and they have to have you, whoever your true person is. And protect your silver priors. Uh, for what you have built and you're cosmically aligned and they got to talk to you the correct way because you don't compare yourself to others because now you're starting to see your harvest of blessings from seeds sown in your past. It's it's coming to life, see? And what it is, roots in a family. We're telling uh, you only live once person that's got good energy and there's a positive change coming to you and karma is working in your life and in your favor at the moment. So you're getting good karma for thinking about yourself and going after what you wanted. And sometimes you just got to turn and walk away from anyone who doesn't make you feel happy and secure woman and uh, talk about all the abuse you had to endure and... What about, hang on, let me get one more of these and then I'm done. What is this last message, Spirit? What is this last message, Spirit? Because it said you're cosmically, you're consciously manifesting your person into your life because you focus on it intently. Your brain thinks of them many times a day. And someone is going through an ascension process and you're moving up a level in a spiritual realm. Whoop, 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 whoop. That's wonderful. And I love y'all, and I hope this helps. Because that's all I can do. It's already on 30 some. 30, 32, about 33. And go ahead and hit subscribe and like if you watched it this far now. Come on and help me get my name around. I need the help. I love you, and I thank you, new subscriber. Whoever my new subscriber was today, I thank you. And I hope and pray that Spirit lets me get more and more every day so I can be of help to many people. And show them what positive energy will get you in life. I love y'all and peace.